Lineage of Joseph van den Brauk, sometimes written van den Brauk. The Flying Dutchman, also known as Piet de Weird, was a pigeon journalist who collaborated with Belgian fancier van den Brauk. Together, they created some of the greatest racing pigeon champions in the sport's history. Many European pigeon champions may trace their ancestry back to van den Brauk's flock. Piet de Weird was a famous man. He was working for Martin van Thuen in Skoten and became a writer for the Belgian Pigeon Sport, of which van Thuen was the owner and Leon Petit, the chief editor. Joss van den Brauk could not have made a better choice. They could look with pride at the race results for a while, but then the KBDB ruled that no foreigners could race pigeons in Belgium. This rule is now history, but Piet de Weert remained as an advisor for many years and was one of the founders of the Beer Linden, Loft in Wheelsby. Piet de Weert made the basic pigeons by testing the pedigrees and qualities of imported pigeons, and by estimating on what he thought was vitality, he put stock pairs together out of which the great champions were born. Two extremely good Vandenbroek Foundation stock pairs are listed by age, not in the order in which they arrived in Wheelsby. The Old Bowls, from Stena Asten, from Mayer Bowls. This pigeon won 10 first prizes in short and middle distance and could be compared to Oudenburg's Vandervelde. Mayer Bowles got his Vandervelde pigeons from Backer van der Esp, in Stuber Street, it is written black on white in Charles van der Esp's book, written when Stena was not a part of the big city of Asten. This was back in 1937. The Bowles pigeons, like van der Esps and others, survived the war, hidden from the occupiers. Hen of the old Castelline. She was purchased in a total sale by Castelline of Brut, who was Nessen, Castelline's uncle and the brother of Dolph Castelline of Gistel. The Castelline pigeons in Brugge, on the other hand, were completely Maurice Delbar pigeons. Sold on a Sunday of December 1952, when the weather was so bad that no dog would go out, there was a big crowd at the Grunport, Maurice Delbar bought back a foundation pair. Joss van den Brauch bought a daughter for 400 Belgian francs of the now legendary Castellian hen, and Jules Gales bought his Whitpen 51, White Flight, who became father of Dugny at 52, Hooligan, for several years one of the best long-distance racer in West Flanders. Max's parents are the old bulls and the Castellian hen, and Max sired the unforgettable moans, but the first son of the old bulls, the 75, was a stock pigeon the likes of which not many have been hatched in Belgium. De Lelichk, ugly, gave birth to nothing but great class champions over a six-year period. No more than half a dozen champions were born in their loft, and no one had a better stock pair in their loft. De 75, was the son of the old bulls and his partner De Lelichk. De Lelichk, was purchased at Wergem by Bruno Wilkins, who was then famous for his prizes from Caor, Carcassonne, Bordeaux, Montauban, Saint Sebastian, and Barcelona. De Lelich was the daughter of De Late, the Late Hatch, the first prize Montauban National, etc., a mating product. Other lines such as Stichelbot, a pure Stichelbot hen, times Charles van der Esked. To end this brief overview, we arrive to a new generation of stock birds at Josef van den Brauks, which were bred from previously mentioned foundation birds and pigeons from the lofts of Antoine Rollstreet, Warijam, Norbert Norman, Oestrosbeeks, Hector de Boe, Cochalaire, and others. All of these pigeons have contributed to the winning of the countless race over the years, and Josef van den Brauk has a secure place in the history of Belgian racing pigeons.